Well, my name is Markus Schinwald. Um, I've often been asked what I do, and I never give a guess the right answer. Here I serve mainly as an installation artist, I guess. I have around 12 paintings here and a couple of sculptures, but the main piece, I would say, is a rather complicated kind of, I always call it room prosthesis, um, some kind of temporary architecture. I don't really hang the paintings in a classical way uh, to reduce their importance a little bit. In this installation, I padded some walls as well to give it some kind of feeling almost to be in a rubber room. Well, the status of a wall being just a display, very neutral, and the painting as a piece of work that they kind of, kind of merge. In this case, like swallowing a painting. I started this uh, table leg sculptures a couple of years ago when I did a movie and during the filming process all the props got destroyed and for some reason I kept the legs and then I read a story uh, about how this form um, was created. It was an English carpenter movement and they tried to imitate human legs uh, with table legs and that was so successful that uh, in Victorian times these legs had to be covered because of the sexual um, content. So what I did was I took away the surface and in a way amplified the notion of the human body a little bit more so that it becomes almost an erotic uh, instrument. I started these paintings a couple of years ago. I bought a lot of early 20th century, late 19th century paintings, restored them and painted on top of them. Uh, in a way, as it was, would have been painted a hundred years ago. So it's kind of uh, faking history and giving there a, a second life. So I usually do some kind of prosthesis or some mechanism in, in their face uh, that could easily be seen as an instrument of torture, which I completely deny. Uh, most of the, the people on the paintings, they have a very a gentle look. They're smiling and they're not, they're not forced to wear these instruments forever. It's, it's almost like a fetish, something that is totally individual. My interest in, in prosthesis started actually by searching for a deficit of the human body, that we all wear uh, instruments that help us uh, we wear glasses to see better, we wear high heels, though the prosthesis I do are complete invention. And it all starts from everybody's problem of, of living in a human body, basically. I think what's gonna stay, even though these paintings are, or the beginning of these paintings, you could see it as a long process of a painting that took uh, more than a hundred years to make, is that there are people on the paintings and that there is some kind of identification with them.